These movies span generations, so picking our favorite moments was difficult. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca from Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best X-Men movie moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. That obviously means we're picking the best and or most memorable moments from the X-Men movie franchise. As you can expect, a spoiler alert is now in effect. Number 10, The Cuban Mutant Crisis, X-Men First Class. The beach is targeted and ready to be fired upon, sir. Stand by. After the nascent X-Men stop the Cuban Missile Crisis from ballooning into World War III, the American and Russian militaries stand down and decide to fire their missiles at the mutants on the beach after seeing the potential threat they present, proving Eric slash Magneto right about humanity's fear. He stops the missiles and then reverses them, being unmoved by Charles's pleas to spare the humans. I've been at the mercy of men just following orders. Never again. Moira then fires her gun to try to stop him, but Eric deflects the bullets and one hits Charles in the spine, leading to his eventual paralysis. The scene has plenty of action and catalyzes the rivalry between Professor X and Magneto that lasts decades. We want the same thing. <laughs> oh, my friend. I'm sorry, but we do not. Number nine, the highway sequence, Deadpool. Okay, we might be cheating with this one, but we couldn't pick just one part of Deadpool's highway shenanigans. While searching for the man who disfigured him and gave him powers, Deadpool attacks an armed convoy on a highway, leading to a fight in an SUV. Shit. Did I leave the stove on? A gunfight where he counts down his remaining bullets. Fine! I only have 12 bullets! So you're gonna have to share. A confrontation with his prey and with the X-Men. Well, two X-Men. But until then, I'm gonna do what I came here to do. Either that, or slap the bitch out of you. Wait. Hey. Zip it, Sinead. All the scenes individually are hilarious and brutally violent. But combined, they are the highlight of an already spectacular film. Number eight, Bobby comes out. X2, X-Men United. So, uh, when did you first know you were a... A uh, mutant? While on the run from government agents, Bobby, also known as Iceman, sits down with his parents and brother and reveals to them that he's a mutant. His parents' reactions, while comedic, do have a certain sense of realism to them. We still love you, Bobby. It's just this mutant problem is a little... What mutant problem? Complicated. The scene has allegories to a gay person coming out of the closet. The X-Men comics were born out of the civil rights movement, with mutants being stand-ins for black individuals being oppressed, while this scene nicely gives parallels to a new generation and demographic of misunderstood and marginalized people. Have you tried not being a mutant? Number seven, Sentinel Fight, X-Men Days of Future Past. You built these weapons to destroy us. Why? Because you are afraid of our gifts. In the climax of Days of Future Past, Magneto gives a speech about mutant supremacy and humans fearing what's different, while he holds the president and his cabinet hostage on live television. The speech is interspersed with action set in the future, which sees the robotic sentinels killing the future X-Men after their takeover of the planet. You're right to fear us. We are the future. We are the ones who will inherit this Earth. And anyone who stands in our way will suffer the same fate as these men you see before you. Demonstrating that, contrary to Magneto's aspirations, he will end up causing the destruction of both sides. The fantastic battle scene, along with the heartbreaking deaths of the future mutants and the powerful speech by Magneto, make this one of the most memorable final battles in any X-Men film. A new tomorrow that starts today. Number six, Magneto kills Shaw, X-Men First Class. In a confrontation with the film's villain Shaw, Eric gets Charles to take control of Shaw's mind, immobilizing him. Eric then tells him that while he agrees with Shaw's ideals, and that he can even look past the torture he put him through at Auschwitz to bring out his powers, he can't forgive Shaw for killing his mother. If you're in there, I'd like you to know that I agree with every word you said. We are the future. But... Unfortunately, you killed my mother. He then exacts his long-awaited revenge by using the coin Shaw forced him to move with his mind to murder him, sending it through his brain and causing Charles the same pain through their connection. The scene is 
is menacing, horrifying, and satisfying all at once, while being masterfully shot to boot. Number 5. Chess – X-Men The final scene of the first X-Men film, this moment sees Magneto imprisoned in a plastic prison playing chess with Professor X. The two discuss the possibility of the government turning on mutants as Eric fears, and the possibility that they could take away everything Charles has worked for. Doesn't it ever wake you in the middle of the night? The feeling that someday they will pass that foolish law, or one just like it, and come for you and your children. Eric displays his pessimism with humanity, and Charles reiterates his hope for a better future, even for his frenemy. What do you do when you wake up to that? I feel a great swell of pity for the poor soul who comes to that school looking for trouble. While this moment may not be the beginning of the duo's ideological differences, it perfectly encapsulates their friendship, as well as their conflict with one another. And it's one that's called back to several times during the franchise. What do you do when you wake up to that? I feel a great swell of pity for the poor soul that comes to my school looking for trouble. Number 4. Magneto Escapes His Plastic Prison X2 – X-Men United In another moment set in Magneto's metal-starved jail, we see the supervillain prisoner served by a boorish guard who was injected earlier with iron by Mystique. There's something different about you, Mr. Laurier. Yeah, I was having a good day. No, that's not that. Magneto gruesomely pulls the metal out of the guard's body, killing him and forming three small metal balls that he proceeds to use to destroy and escape his plastic prison. The scene is beautifully shot, epically scored, and really brings home how fantastic and threatening a villain Magneto is. There are plenty of scenes showing Magneto moving large metal objects, but this moment proves that he can do a lot with very little. Number 3. Time in a Bottle – X-Men – Days of Future Past While helping Wolverine and Professor X break Magneto out of the Pentagon using his super speed, Quicksilver gets the group out of a tight jam during their escape. Confronted by a dozen guards in the kitchen, Quicksilver takes them all out, moving so fast that everyone appears to be moving in slow motion. The visuals are jaw-dropping and hilarious, and the choice to play the song Time in a Bottle was absolutely perfect. Although the Quicksilver scene that featured him rescuing everyone at Xavier's school in X-Men Apocalypse was also spectacular, we ultimately had to go with the first one due to its greater impact. Number 2. Nightcrawler in the White House X2 – X-Men United Excuse me, sir. Are you lost? After being brainwashed, Kurt Wagner, better known as Nightcrawler, visits the White House with the intent of frightening or killing the President of the United States. Using his teleportation abilities, the blue devilish mutant tears through the Secret Service faster than you can say BAMF! Exit's not clear, we don't know how many there are. Full slide, secure. The choreography is acrobatic, the camera work is creative and kinetic, and the fact that it's all set to Mozart's Requiem in D minor lends the scene a grandiose weight unlike anything else in the franchise. It may not be our favorite moment overall, but it's definitely our favorite action scene. I don't know about you, but I still remember the first time I saw that Nightcrawler scene. So what could possibly top it? Well, let's check out some honorable mentions and then we'll find out. Number 1. Logan's Death – Logan Though there were many spectacular moments from Wolverine's swan song, like his last berserker-like rage, in the end, we couldn't pick anything other than this moment for our list. Logan lies dying after his regeneration ability has been exhausted. You don't have to fight anymore. <sighs> no. He urges his cloned daughter Laura not to be the weapon they fashioned her into like he was, as she tearfully calls him daddy. His last words appear to be a reflection on how he now finally knows what dying feels like. <sighs> oh, so this is what it feels like. The whole scene, as well as Laura's ex-themed funeral tribute to him, had us all shedding tears for the character we've come to love over nearly 20 years on screen.
My favorite moment is when Wolverine is walking away from a very clearly fake fire in Origins. What can I say? <laughs> I'm kidding, don't worry. Uh, be sure to tell us what your favorite moment is, like and subscribe, and check out these other videos to keep yourselves occupied.